Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Eats Too Much Goddamn Candy. Yeah, okay, it's true. I shouldn't eat this much candy, especially considering I've had my gallbladder removed and I've had digestive problems lately, but they keep putting out new candy, and I'm a weak, weak man. It's true. I'm sorry. I have no excuse, but... That said, I don't know if you noticed, considering the last episode when I had all those Kit Kats and Twix and all that stuff, I was eating in moderation. I wasn't finishing the candy bar. I was I was taking small bites, except all right, except for the Kit Kat. I ate the entire Kit Kat and shoved it all into my face. It's like it's, it's I feel like there should be like a previously on, just for people to keep up. But that's entirely too much effort, and I don't feel like doing it. But anyway, we have new candy. Because that's the title of this episode, or something along those lines, but, you know, I got stuff to show you, so we're going to get into that. First, we have Milky Way Salted Caramel, which sounds interesting. Then, Skittles Dips, which is yogurt-coated Skittles. Sure. And finally, the thing I'm going to have the least of, because apparently... Uh, certain types of nuts cause kidney stones, and I've had problems with kidney stones, if you've been paying attention and watching these episodes. I don't know why that's a thing I keep sharing in this. Whatever. Hazelnut spread M&Ms. Oh, we're actually probably going to try these first. I just decided that now because they were in my hand and it seemed like a good idea. I will say, though, have you seen the ads for the hazelnut spread M&Ms? The M&Ms are cannibals. That's pretty much all I'm going to have to say. They realize that the m M&M, the new m M&M has hazelnut spread in him and they they eat him. They devour him. They all have hazelnut spread on their face. It's Nutella, basically. That's that's what's in these. And the m ms go crazy for that and murder and eat another m M&M. That's weird, right? That's a weird thing. That's not a thing that should be, especially in an ad for food. Cannibal food is already a problem. You know, you've got potatoes advertising french fries and chicken places that their mascot is a chicken. Come eat me! It's weird, man! But anyway, M&Ms, they're not actual living things that get turned into food, like chicken and potatoes, kind of. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this stuff. It's enough philosophy for one episode. <laughs> it's a food show. They don't particularly smell any different, and that's fine. I don't know if you can hear the whirring in the background. I have laundry going. They feel like M&Ms. They're not any really larger than most M&Ms. They might be a little thicker, kind of like the peanut M&Ms are. The peanut butter, I should say. The peanut butter M&Ms tend to be kind of thicker. Peanut M&Ms are obviously thicker because they have peanuts in them, and they're just bigger and weirder shape. You can try these. Not really getting any different flavor from that. They're good. They're M&Ms but I'm not noticing any hazelnut spread. I'm not noticing a Nutella flavor. They're not bad. They're really tasty. They're m ms I kind of expected something a little bit more with those, but I don't know. Maybe my palate is weird today. I can never tell. Next, we're gonna go with the Skittles dips because it just seems weird. All they are is yogurt-flavored coating on your regular Skittles. Not even yogurt. Yogurt flavored. What is yogurt flavored? Because yogurt is different flavors. That also seems suspect. Whatever. This package, by the way, has a lot of air in it. The hat package. It seems so... Like I'm gonna open it and it's gonna sound like a can of soda. Ugh. All compressed in there. Yeah. Okay. Those are Skittles covered in a yogurt-like substance, which is not a thing anyone should ever say. A yogurt-like substance is not, shouldn't be food, honestly. They even have the little S's imprinted on them. So that's a thing. Um, and you can't tell what flavor you got before because they, they just put it, they just put the yogurt on over the shell. Whatever, here we go. I always forget how hard Skittles are when you bite into them, different from M&Ms. Skittles don't have as much give as an M&M does. The yogurt coating is nice. It's an interesting change, but you look at these and you think, oh, it's gonna be soft, because yogurt. It's not soft. It hurts your teeth because you're biting into it, expecting it to be smooth, and it's got that hardened Skittle underneath. But it's still a nice flavor. The yogurt flavor. It's tasty. Not really something I would get all that often, honestly. 
And the thing about Skittles is you choose them just forever. But the yogurt flavor on top of that is kind of refreshing. It's kind of nice. I don't hate those. Again, I wouldn't go out of my way to get them, but I wouldn't turn them down if they were offered to me. Finally, at 200 calories per snack, as it actually says on the bar, the salted caramel Snickers. That's a thing. Salted caramel's kind of been a, a more popular thing of late. Caramel's been around for a while. Putting salt in the caramel is kind of a new trend, but uh, whatever. It's a Milky Way. It usually has caramel in it anyway, so the salted caramel, I don't expect to taste all that different. It looks like a Snickers. It smells like a Snickers. We'll see. It's really good. The caramel does taste different than a normal Snickers usually does. It's a little creamier, but it definitely has that salted caramel flavor to it. The caramel seems a lot more pronounced in this than it usually does. It's not the same kind of caramel that they use, I guess. I, I, I don't expect it to be the same kind of caramel because it tastes different, but I guess that could be just the salted element to it. But that's really nice. If I saw that again, I would definitely get that again. That was really nice. And that's it. That's all the candy that I have for now. If you like these episodes, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, all that stuff that you do with all the other channels. And maybe if you want to see these episodes early, you can check out my Patreon, where my patrons get to see episodes early. They get to see exclusive episodes. They get brand new songs from me because I do music and all sorts of other cool stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. I really want to finish at least one of those, but I know if I do, I'm going to regret it. It doesn't mean you shouldn't eat the whole thing. It's just, you know, my body rebels against me. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know I'ma eat it anyway. Oh, yeah. So come on, you can give me anything that you want.